Hey everyone, we often get the question, do I need a dock seven by seven or do I need a dock 10? And really uh, when it comes down to it, where are you going? How much space do you have? Do you have friends? Do you not have friends? Uh, a lot of those questions come into play. But right here we have the boxes, starting just with the boxes. Right in front of me is the dock 10, this is the dock seven. If I slide these up right side by side, you can see kind of the comparison in space and size. Obviously a lot more compact, the product here on the seven by seven is gonna be about, just about 35 pounds, whereas you have 72 pounds here. Uh, so when you start thinking about this box, all of the gear inside of it, you're looking a little over 80 pounds. So this is definitely a, a two person job in terms of moving it. Uh, but at the same time, you have double this amount of space when you're out in the water. So on the dock seven, you know, this is, you got a center console, uh, you're limited on space. Uh, you want to be able to carry it just by yourself. Seven is the way to go all the time, especially if you're going to take it down to the beach or something like that. Dock 10, on the other hand, this is great if you have a little bit bigger uh, boat. If you, you know, have some friends, you're going to go down the sandbar. Uh, definitely requires at least two people to carry it. I'm going to open these up and we'll start taking a look at them. We'll see them inflated to help give you an idea as you're starting to plan for your next trip, trip out to the sandbar, to the lake, uh, figure out which one do I need and how much gear do I want to bring with me. All right, we just got the Dock 7, Dock 10 out of the box. So we start looking at it. Uh, you notice each of these have what we call a burrito. This is your storage uh, compartment for it, folded up. If you ever in doubt, how do I fold it? Included in the box are your instructions as part of the owner's manual. You also have those, of course, online uh, should you get in a pinch, and I will probably even have a video for it. So everything you need there. Uh, you, of course, have your repair kit should you need it. This has a little patch should you get any sort of puncture. And then your hand pump. Hand pump gets the job done. However, Dock 7, it's going to be a lot of work. Dock 10, it's going to be a ton of work. So save yourself the effort. Get yourself an electric pump. It's worth it, especially in the summertime when it's hot. You want to focus on relaxing, not pumping your, your dock up. So nice thing with ours, you can just dial in what PSI you want for the 10, you're going to have six to eight PSI. Turn this thing on, let it do the work for you. It'll automatically shut off when it hits the desired pressure. Then on the 10, you can, uh, or sorry, on the seven, you can go up to 10 PSI. So let's open this up. Let's take a look. So dock seven, actually first, let me just show you, as I mentioned, this is really your solo person carry, 35 pounds. You can easily pick it up, not heavy, easy to carry by yourself. Or, you know, if you have a friend, it's even easier to carry. So nice and light. Not bad. On the Dock 10, you know, you're definitely going to want, you're, you're looking at about 70 pounds here. You're going to want someone else helping you with it. So let's open this up though and take a look. Inside, you got your strap. So undo your strap, make sure to hold on to this, and then you can just start unfolding. Get rid of this plastic, protective plastic. And then of course, making sure the valve is closed. So you're always gonna to wanna to make sure that the yellow is up. If it's up flush with the top, then you know the valve's closed. Screw this in and then go ahead and begin. And then just dial in your pressure. So we're gonna just do this to eight right now. It's more than enough. Let it do its work. First and foremost, that's the sound of the pump working right there. Uh, you'll notice as it starts to get even more pressure built up, it's actually gonna kick into its uh, second gear. So uh, just, just know you saw it, it starts moving a little bit, it's shaking a little bit. That's totally normal, nothing to worry about. And you'll notice this is gonna get even louder. So uh, just part of the pump doing its job, doing the work for you so you can relax. All right, we got these two inflated. And just to kind of give you a visual, I'm 6'1", I'm standing next to the seven by seven, it's obviously a little bit slanted, but give you perspective, this is 49 square feet versus 100 square feet on the dock 10. A Couple things to keep in mind, you know, I mentioned six to eight PSI, really on either one's gonna be more than enough. Uh, you can go up to 10 if need be on the seven, but again, this thing is 
at eight and it's plenty rigid. So uh, typically, you know, this is gonna be two chairs, a cooler, you know, up to about four people. You know, on the Dock 10, you know, 1500 pound capacity, and that's pretty generous, or pretty conservative rather. Uh, you can fit a lot of people on this, a lot of gear, uh, multiple coolers. A lot of people often go with like a couple of chair XLs, cooler, you know, and they got their whole family on there. Everyone's wrapped it up. These are great, you know, throw them off, throw them off uh, when you pull the sandbar off your boat and really to get all your, your friends, everyone out having a great time. A couple of couches as well can go on those. Uh, but just to really give you kind of that perspective of size and difference. So as you're thinking about, do I need a 10, do I need a seven? A little bit more personalized, easier to maneuver around or do I need just a massive platform for fun and for family and everything else? Thank you.